I'm Joan. I'm 55, and this is my story. It started decades ago after we were first married. Slowly, but day by day, he started to tell me I was stupid, so ugly and fat that no one would want me. He told me to stay home and not work. He didn't like me to disobey him. Whenever I went out to see my friends, he made me feel guilty for not paying enough attention to him and his needs. Once, after I did go out, he beat me up pretty bad, and he made sure I knew it would happen again if I defied him. I looked around me and saw that nobody would understand. They wouldn't believe me because we had it all. Once, I was sitting in the doctor's waiting room and just stared at the other women, hoping one would ask if I was okay. I wanted to leave, but he said he'd kill me while I was sleeping, so I didn't. I stayed. I believe there was no way I could make it without him because I had no money of my own. I remember the day I decided to go. I saw something about Wise Wish Shelter, and I picked up the phone and called the crisis line. We made a plan for me to leave, and it was when he was at work that I would simply disappear. Just go and arrive at the shelter. He would never know where I was. I didn't tell anyone. Just went. I don't know how I did it or where I got the strength. My heart was racing, but I did it. I felt so grateful for a wise wish. The moment I entered the doors, I felt safe, cared for, helped. Because of them, my outlook on life has changed completely. It took time, but I transformed myself from a woman with no self-esteem, a negative outlook on life, and zero self-worth, to a woman who feels confident, who looks at each day with a positive perspective. I know now that I have a value. I'm, I matter. Me. Wise wish saved my life. We know that in Canada, over 6,000 women and children sleep in shelters on any given night because it isn't safe in their home. Sadly, Wise Wish Shelter had to turn away 573 women last year because we were over capacity. But we know that in 2017, Wise Wish Shelter provided a safe haven for over 160 women and children. We know that in the last 15 years, we have helped over 15,000 women escape the violence gripping their lives. We know that when she is ready, we are here for her. I'm Sandra, I'm 28, and this is my story. When it first started, I used to wonder if the kids knew. Could they hear him punch me? slap me, push me to the ground. At first it was just in the bedroom, then after about a year he hit me all the time, especially in the evening after the kids went to bed. The black eyes weren't even the worst part. I could cover them easily with makeup. It was the emotional bruises and scars that really hurt. The constant belittling and beating down, physically and with his words. A little voice in me knew he was wrong, and I knew that the kids were suffering and scared, but I had no idea how to leave, where to go. I had no money. I once told him I'd leave if he hit me again. And he told me I'd never see the kids if I did that. He said I was a bad mother anyway, and he'd make sure the courts knew it. The house was in his name. The car belonged to him. Where was I supposed to go when I had nothing? Plus, the kids would be so scared and would miss him. I finally told my best friend. I broke down in front of her, and she told me about Wise Wish Shelter. She handed me their phone number. I called the crisis line many times before I finally made a plan to leave. Even when I had a plan, I was terrified to do it. But when my daughter came to me and said, Mommy, is it my fault Daddy is mad at you? I decided that was it. When I stepped into the shelter, I knew my life would change. I knew this was the beginning of something different. For the first time in a long time, I felt like someone understood what I was going through. They listened. They got it. They helped me find my voice. They made me feel safe comfortable, and welcome. There was no place or no one else in the world that could have helped me more. We know that in Canada, a woman is killed every six days by an act of intimate partner violence. In Ontario, a woman is killed every 13 days. Sadly, by March 14th of this year, Ontario surpassed both of these averages. Since January of 2017, four women and two children in Durham Region 
tragically have lost their lives as a result of intimate partner violence. We know that love shouldn't hurt, but sadly, far too often, it does. We know that when women find their voice, they can find their way out. We know that with the funds raised at Starry Nights, we are providing women with a way out and a way to be safe at Wise West Shelter. I'm Lisa. I'm 10. You see my mom crying a lot. She always looks sad. My parents fight a lot and they are really loud. When they do that, they close the door so I can't hear them, but I can. Sometimes I go in the closet and hide from the noise. I hum my favorite song so I can think about something else. Mom woke me up one night and we took off. It was weird. I got to bring a couple of toys and some clothes with me in a shopping bag. We went to a new house with bunk beds in it. He gave me a new toy when I got there. He told me not to worry. Things are okay. It was pretty strange waking up in that place, but there was another girl there. She was cool. The adults were really nice to me. They hugged me and smiled, and they seemed okay. I hate not being at home, but mom says we have to stay there for now. I miss my house and dad, but I haven't seen mom cry since we left. We know that children who witness violence in the home have twice the rate of psychiatric disorders as children from non-violent homes. We know that early intervention can break the cycle. We know that thanks to your support of this event, we have raised over a half a million dollars in the last 15 years. Money that goes directly to keeping women and children safe. We know that there is more work to be done, that we cannot stop. On behalf of the women and children who rely on the YWCA Durham for safety and support, we would like to extend our deepest thanks. We know that together we are changing lives and saving lives.